Hello and welcome to the Ears and Fellow Castles. You're watching Primetime Castle, and this is DCS World in VR. What the hell is this, you might ask? Well, this is a KA50 Black Shark 3 in the new Sinai map. And I'll take it out for a spin and get some ground target. Let's get straight to it. The KA-50, for some reason, is one of the easier to start helicopters for me, easier to start planes in general. Start the APU. Starting. And it seems our target area is around 30 nautical miles or so to the north, to the north. That should be easy. We are equipped with a good mix of unguided and guided rockets. And hopefully this will um, be enough. The K50 is interesting to fly. Ah, oh, there's the hot. Finally. It is, of course, designed as a single-seat helicopter, which means it can do quite a lot on its own and for you to um, ease the, the workload of the pilot, all the auto-hover modes and, and everything. Um, but coming into it is very strange because if you don't know what all these automatic systems do, you'll end up fighting them continuously. And that is... I only have a couple of hours in this in, in this bird. That's still an issue. As long as I have to have time for all the transitions, it's perfect. You know? But as soon as I have to do it quickly... <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story, so I'm quite quite anxious to see how the mission today goes. It's a new map, it's I don't know how optimized it is. True. Um it is beautiful. It really is. Um Flat as well, really, really flat. But well, that has to be expected. I mean, it is the desert. Uh, yeah, I won't bore you with any more details. I'll bring you back in when I'm at the mission zone. All right, the targets are about. That knock little mass to the north. We do have a JTAC drone in the area marking them. So I'll be keeping a look out for the red smoke marking the targets. Because unlike in the Apache, I don't have uh, George or whatever his, his Russian counterpart is, who search and identify targets for me. I think I have to do it all by myself. There's smoke. Can't see it on the squall, but I can see it 
a little smoke there. Let's assume that that. Somewhere over there, yeah. Yeah, smoke up there. Awesome. In the middle of the woods, okay. We could, of course, now try to program a waypoint over there. I, I know in theory how that how that works, but uh, let's just let's just um, let's just not. The other question is from where do we attack? There are some buildings in front, but they are awfully close. I'm hoping, I, I, I hope I'm pressing the right button. There's a like safety center button that you can press. Like I said, it, uh, the, the Black Shark has a lot of semi-autopilot helpers. But I'm not always sure what they do. They are hiding between the buildings. The thing with these call is it's really purely optical. Um, there's no thermal signature or anything. Yeah, I see it. Oh, I see a lot of tanks. Okay. Um, lots of tanks. That means we are now trying out the auto hover mode. Like so. Perhaps. So rotate towards the target. We are not quite standing still, but it's as good as it gets. Under attack. Under attack. I would very much like to shoot that one. Completely messed up the trim. Pretty sure that that is a tank. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's work on the assumption that it's a tank as well. Uh, 
That is definitely a tank. Okay, that one missed, it seems. Let's give it another go. Those Victor missiles are nice, but they require a good go and sack. Okay, let's reposition. You might wonder why I'm not uh, engaging the, the marked target. Um, yeah, the issue is the red smoke from the JTAC stays with the destroyed target and just pops up a new flare, which is of course realistic, but also makes it a bit confusing for me, so I usually make that my last target. This, this helicopter is far too high in the sky. Um, I'm just not that that competent with helicopters. Let's be honest. And there we go. That should be more or less a stable hover. Now we're scanning for more targets. Oh, look. Oh, look. A truck. Would be a shame if something happened to it. that shot because we're still climbing but I didn't want but hey let's rain down some bass and there it goes bigger shack Okay, let's reposition once more. Don't want auto hover, thank you. Let's reposition once more, a bit more from the north, so we can mop up the remaining targets. I already count one, two, three, four, five. Lots of smoke plumes and fires there, that is one good strike. Oh yeah, I mean, I was lucky that there wasn't any air defense, or that I hit their air defense vehicle pretty much with the, with the first missiles. Because I'm far too high in the sky. And ideally it would, would be treetop level, or at least rooftop. I can't do that. Um, I can't do that. I don't know how to slow down without... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I don't know how to slow down without ascending to to immense levels. I don't want to come from, from that direction there, from the north now. That is not good. Yeah. OK, 
okay, they still have some fight in them yet. Um, let's stay a little bit lower then. To hover. Let's hit that one. The one behind it. I hit the one behind it first because, you know. Rifle. Another target. We do have another target. Not sure what that is. Some sort of IFV, possibly. I think that was a miss, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a miss. Have another one. Probably hit one of the trees in front. That's it. Splash. Check. Check. I mean check. We are missing complete. All that was a mission in the K50 Black Shark 3. We are now returning to base and I'll try to land this thing which should be actually more exciting than the action. Well, that was... that was some... that was some strike. Awesome. Slight change of plan can make it a bit more difficult. There's a... white smoke is a farb. We'll try to land there. That that's that is going to be hilarious. So yeah, that's that's a farp. Um, and a small forest clearing. Beautiful scenery down there, by the way. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I forget it. I want to check out the landing. Um. Oh, those are houses. I don't want to land there. I want to land where there's no houses. That's always... I found in my, my experience landing where there are no houses in the way is much easier than landing where there are. Uh, 50 kph. That is not too fast, I think. I've been faster on my mountain bike. So, we are officially slow. And I think that... I think that is a landing pad. Yeah, that is a landing pad. Oh, awesome. We do have landing pads. Okay. This is going to be interesting. One, one, passing waypoint four at 25,000. Possibly auto hover and then descent mode. I think that is, that is like a plan. I have, I have no idea how do we land helicopters. I could, I do know how to do a, a rolling landing. But this is a static landing. Uh, possibly get into auto hover. Just possibly. I I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm I'm trying to be slow and precise. And so far, this is a the, the, the best landing I've ever done in a helicopter. Far better than the Apache or what for with the Huey. Um, even even day mode, I don't see shit. 
you don't see shit in that one either. Okay. Perhaps press a little to the left. What do you think? A little to the left? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and, and now descent. Not that quickly. No. A little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. And down. Not too quickly. Down. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe more to the left. I think I'm, I'm almost, almost where I want to be. That is, that is a stable hover. I don't see shit on my hut. Okay. Let's just, let's just descend like that. I'm, I think I'm on the pad. On the pad, and I have no idea how to stop this. I think like that, more or less. Yeah, it's just shut up. On well, that, my dear friends, it was a surprisingly professional and successful mission from start to engagement and even a landing in the KF 50 Black Shark 3. I'm thoroughly enjoying both this helicopter and this Sana map so far, and I hope to bring you a bit of comparison between all the modules I've bought so far in my 200 hours very soon. In any case, you have been watching Primetime Casual. See you next time, and fly safe.